Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all of my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your shares, your donations, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in this planet. We're going to go ahead and get in there. All right. We got share the love. Somebody's st extending an olive branch, okay? This person wants to love you. They want you to take their hand and lead them to love land. <laughs> Those that know. <laughs> Those that know, you know, all right? Don't feel down in despair. Some of you feel really down in despair. I feel like you are an empath, right? All right? Um, some of you are worried about me. I am fine. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Somebody wants to communicate with you. Okay. Somebody could also be communicating about you. Let's see. New beginnings. Ooh, shit. Okay. So this person, this is a good card to have in reverse. You see that? Okay. So somebody was refusing to see. Okay. But I feel like this person knew the whole time. Right. But they was just, you know, they had a lot of guilt possibly because of the things they were associated with. Okay. Uh, things that you don't know about and some things that you do, but somebody wants a new beginning with you. They want to nurture the situation. Some of you may meet somebody, uh, Ooh, spiritual burp on your morning stroll, okay? Somebody's going green. You could be going vegan or eating more vegetables, okay? Some of you actually having a spiritual awakening. It's like you're going through the trees and the trees is talking to you. They waving at you and shit. Been there, done that. And you know, that's kind of like a euphoric feeling. Like when you get past that stage, you'd be like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Enjoy that moment, honey, okay? Because it's a journey. There's definitely a change in school. Somebody's very passionate about you, but they are fearful, or at least they were fearful in the past, okay? So for some of you, this person may have had some sort of status, okay, some sort of finances. You may have met this person when they was up, you know what I'm saying? So they're kind of worried about how you're going to perceive them now that they are normal normal more for me, okay but what what's happening here this is like a self-defeatist behavior of whoever this is in alignment with okay because if this is a, a star seed an empath or some sort of spiritual teacher or something like that that person ain't worried about no money i feel like this is uh someone that may have been with somebody that was very materialistic okay so they may be judging you by their past experience okay yeah so individuality okay so somebody is scared to be their authentic self but the base chakra here i feel like this person was in survival mode or they are in survival mode right now this person could be doing a lot of meditation or candle magic trying to clear yeah trying to clear uh their chakras here okay this person may have been had an overactive uh, root chakra Okay, so somebody may be feeling sluggish. If this is your divine counterpart, you could be feeling sluggish. Okay, it's because this person was complacent. All right. Um, they have a fear of what people are going to think about, but it's always the wrong people that we overwork for. Okay, so yeah, win or lose. So somebody had to put it, draw the knife, honey, draw the knife in the sand. They didn't just draw that motherfucker. They planted that motherfucker right there. All right. And wherever they planted their thoughts, feelings, and emotions, honey, it started growing something. There was a seed planted here. Okay, you see how this, this sword is up in here? in that ground and this growing abundance. So somebody made a final decision to change the self-defeatist behavior, child. And I'm so glad that this is this is it. This is my last reading for today, baby. And I'm glad that it's coming out like this. Okay. So somebody had to learn how to balance their masculine and feminine energy. And this is beautiful. So if you are a female and you are celibate, so is this person. And I don't mean celibate and keep a bit. Okay, this person is, you know, they, you know they're refraining from sex. Okay, with domestic harmony, they see a purpose here with you. They, they want to spend the rest of their life with you. And that, you know, I don't, I don't just be talking just to talk. All right, this is beautiful energy, and I'm so glad that I get a chance to experience this honey child because, baby, I had that song, uh, The Weight of the World, and, you know, 
in my head this morning, child, and it's just going. They going ham all over the world, child. And if you are an empath, you may have to disconnect from that, especially if you are just beginning on your journey. All right, because honey, I remember when I was first began, I didn't know that I was an empath. I would watch the news and I would cry, child. I would cry. But whatever you give your attention to, you pay with your mind, body, and soul. Now, uh, at some point, you're going to have to balance that energy so you can go on with your purpose here. But I do feel like, you know, this is a happy partnership. Some of you, you are with this person right now. Okay? And baby, it's hot. Okay? It's, it's a lot of hotness and, and passion. Okay? It's very hot up in there. Okay? I'm just going to keep it like that with, with self-discipline here. Okay. Maybe a little bit too hot. Okay. Somebody may be really, really sexually attracted to you at this time. I'm hearing fertile. Okay. Uh, and they saying, uh, Oh, child. I don't know. Somebody cat may be in heat. Y'all. Oh my God. Y'all just, y'all too funny. Somebody may be realizing that cat or their dog is in heat. Okay. So yeah, some of you, Child, this is too funny. Self-discipline, please. One time for self-discipline. <laughs> okay, so some of you, you're in a partnership and you're healing with this person. Other, others of you, you're balancing here, okay? You're balancing your chakras, okay? Um, you could be definitely abstinent, and this person is as well. This person that's thinking of you, okay? They're learning the art of detachment, okay? <laughs> so when the opportunity beckons... Oh, child, I don't know why they keep showing me somebody taking their chi they, they child. Well, your pet can be your child, okay, to the vet or something. <laughs> somebody is, uh, they go in the yard and see their dog mating with another dog and run out, child. I don't. Okay, so this, for those of you that are single, because that's so funny. So, you, especially with the dad here, you, somebody gonna be trying to beat the shit out of it. Hey. <laughs> too funny. Too funny now. Too funny. Yeah. Okay, so whenever this person uh, goes out and they gaze at the stars, you could be gazing at the stars too. Some of you don't want to look at the stars. <laughs> You know, you don't want to look at the stars because, you know, this person is heavy in your thoughts. So you're just trying to move on with your life, honey, trying to find some sort of balance. Okay, that's for those of you that just, they just, you just tired, okay? You, you know, you know what you want because of all the things that you've been through, all this time waiting and uh, manifesting on your own. You just like, oh, you're over it, okay? You're, you're very much over it, but... Somebody is thinking of you. I just want to say that. Okay. They're trying to manifest you. Okay. They see your growth here with this purple. All, you know, this person could have been skeptic in the past. Okay. They, they didn't have all the knowledge that they needed to move forward. This is somebody that's very methodical. They want to plan every damn thing, but they have people in the background working against those plans. Okay. It was difficult for them to see that. Okay. You're dealing with somebody that's very intelligent. Okay. They may be uh, um, environmentally conscious. Some of you may be going solar. Uh, that's interesting. Why did I get that? I have no idea. So, you know, dun, dun, dun. all right, let's see. Let's see what's happening. Let's take a peek beneath, behind. Now, this could be something that they are dealing with or something around them. Now, keep that uh, in mind or around you, okay? So, we have refusing to see in the reverse. What was they refusing? Okay, so somebody was refusing, somebody that was going against you, okay, didn't believe in Dharma, didn't believe in karma, all right, so they was refusing to see that they will be outed, that they would have to face karma. This person was only worried about themselves with earthly desires, okay, somebody could have said that you were just into uh, finances here, all right, um, that you were, you know, into their finances or you want, only wanted to be with them because they had some sort of status. So the divine had, you know, worked with this person as much as they could. Child. They worked with this person as much as they could. However, this was a cycle that needed to be completed. So because this person didn't do that, you know, they had to, you know, cut off. They had to cut off all this negative energy. So somebody was refusing to see that they were very much 
uh, you know, demonic or they had demonic individuals, okay? Somebody is refusing to see the fact uh, that somebody may be gay or refusing to accept that fact. Base chakra. Okay, Nirvana. Okay, so state of, of enlightenment. Okay, so as you do this healing, healing of your root chakra, all right, you may be getting, feeling re, um, regenerated, revitalized here, okay? Somebody, you know, may have, you know, again, had a lot of fear and anxiety around this new beginning, okay? So somebody is learning that they have to budget now. Maybe this could, I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is whoever this person is that was so much in their ego here. All right, so yeah, they're finding enjoyment in little things, which is very great because this is somebody that was flashy. They was, you know, out for what looks good. So you have to be mindful of that. You know, all that energy had to be burnt off of this person, okay, before they brought it to you. Nobody's perfect. Take it how it resonates. This is not going to resonate with everyone. So, you know, somebody could have had some sort of epiphany during sex. Okay. I feel like this is going into kar karmic energy. Or, okay. Or somebody may, you know, be, they may be reflecting on sex with you. If you had sex with this person, I feel like this is a karmic. You, or you may have been refusing to see that this person was karmic in the past. Okay, or this is a past life uh, soul contract. Okay, some of you, you know, you had you needed to repent, so you was refusing to see that you or this person was in demonic energy. Okay, this is definitely a male. If this is a male, um, if this is an actual man. Okay. They may have hid the fact that they were into men and they possibly was refusing to see that this person put a spell or a curse on them. Okay. So, yeah, somebody had to release bad habits. Okay. Somebody wants you to see this person as gay. Okay. Or you didn't see someone as gay. I feel like this is somebody that's around them, possibly a friend. Somebody didn't see that their friend was into them. Okay, so yeah, this person is happy. Okay, Wh whoever this is that's finding balance, they may have cut this person off. Whoever this demonic, yeah, this demonic individual, they were doing some sort of imprinting of their energy. I feel like whoever this is, they are an empath. This could be a male or a female, but they was refusing to see the truth about a male figure in their life or a woman, but somebody had an entity attachment. Okay, that entity could have been sex, drugs, rock and roll, or actual uh, entity, a demonic being. Okay, so yeah, um, this may have been somebody that was into manifestation, candle magic. All right, they used a lot of magic or sorcery to get what they want. However, they didn't have to use that on you because you were genuine about this person. They feel happy around you. Okay, or when you speak to this person, for some of you, you don't know this person. There's you, you're away from them. Why is self-discipline here? You have to learn how to discipline yourself, okay? You may have been over, yes. Some of you, you know, y'all was doing a little, you know, you know, but it's all, it's all right. It's all right. I feel like you, yeah, you may have, somebody feels like they got karma from doing that, okay? So we got blue collar crime, violence, assault, illegal gambling. Okay, this is, yeah, somebody may have a gambling problem. I, this is not giving me uh violent crimes or anything like this okay this somebody has a has a gambling issue they take risk okay sometimes high risk with with little investment somebody definitely could be a gambleholic here so somebody had to like discipline themselves possibly from going to this casino or you know just discipline themselves from risky behavior Okay, so baddie bait, I watch you in the trees, nightmare conjure. Be mindful of people watching you shit outside. You know, I talked about this before. If you got bushes and trees and you go out there, just beat the shit out of the bush. You know, in the Bible, it talks about the burning bush. You know, the burning bush be the devil child. We see it right there. Just beat the shit out of the bush. You know, somebody, you know, somebody, uh, somebody could try to set a fire here. Yeah, so somebody could try to set a fire. Now, now we got the blue collar crime coming in. Okay, 
Yeah, I feel like this is something that so a karmic person, possibly a third party, is going through. They may be having that energy return to them uh, through a child's mother or a child's father. This person may also be watching you and stalking you. Um, you know, I told you, uh, well, those of you that seen it, I talked about this on a reading where somebody thought uh, that your child's father was who your divine masculine was or vice versa if you were a male like like yeah okay so they started spiritually attacking you okay but this person is actually a criminal okay so yeah that wouldn't be a divine partner that's a karmic okay so this person may stalk you or um stalk their social media whoever this karmic individual is this false flame it could be a child's father an ex-husband or whatever okay so somebody's actually going through hell right now okay they're going through hell with whoever they chose over you okay not your monkey and not your circus okay so it says move your ass so you get past you definitely uh pass this person here uh, some of you feel like that about your twin. Win or lose. Yeah, because you're tired of crying and shit, okay? You're tired of them comparing you to whoever their child's mother is or whoever this karmic individual is in their life. So it says, don't be mad at me because you didn't do the work on the bigger, better things. Yeah, so yeah, somebody's cutting out friends, family members, and exes because they know they have to, okay? So we got a psychic connection here. Eight, 852 hertz may be significant. Some of you are musicians. Um, so yeah, what I tell you, this person feels like you know the keys to their heart, okay? You say the right things, you do the right things, okay? It's just you. I love your energy. Okay, so somebody had to go through an ego death. Okay, again, I do feel like this person may have put like a little little conjuring on you to try to get you to um, connect with them. However, it don't work on you just like it wouldn't work on them. Okay, well, it's not going to work on them um, if they're away from people that like this. Now, if they were around people like this, all that shit going to work. Matter of fact, you know, people like this go around empaths so they don't have to. Uh, get any karma okay so they had to release bad habits are they being guided to release those bad habits so they can find uh, structure in their life here in balance okay a lot of it is negative thinking because they had this succubus incubus energy people putting doubt in their mind okay this may be somebody say oh twins ain't real and this and that is because it's not real for them okay so that's a part of the journey okay bearing your own cross all right, and not really caring about who or what has to say about it or what they have to say about it because as long as you're not hurting anyone or harming anyone, then it's none of their fucking business. And that's just that on that. So we got an increase, manifestation, time to clean house, psychic and fertility, waxing, crescent. Yeah, so a lot of uh, moon activity, okay? This person was on your ass, Mr. Postman, okay? So I'm going to tell you like this. If you get any um, phone calls, I may have said that in my last reading. If you get any phone calls, um, you know, you start thinking about somebody heavenly around these different cycles, especially the full and the new moon. Don't accept it. So, you know, some of you, this person is so much in their ego that they keep doing these psychic attacks. And at this point it's psychic attacks. Okay. Because you don't want to deal with this person. And it also be, could be somebody that they're sleeping with in the LGBTQIA community that is doing this as well. Okay, they want to keep you off balance or keep this person off balance. But again, like I said, for some of you, it's because this person is delusional. Okay, um, you know, this would be a karmic flame or a false flame that you've gotten rid of that you don't want nothing to do, but they are still hooked on you. Okay, so whoever this person is, they're getting readings done and they're seeing that this person is hooked on you. So they want to, you know, end your life, like even though you don't want to deal with this person. So that's a very karmic situation don't worry about that keep them continuing to clean your energy uh, from these people and make sure that you learn the lesson you know you pay attention to the signs pay attention to the signs of the times now okay if people don't want to be up and uh, up 
and upfront with their life about you, regardless of how good or bad it is. If they want to keep you waiting, they want to keep open doors, they hide their phone and, you know, just little sneaky stuff like that. Don't deal with them. It's not worth the headache. Okay. You'll be happier by yourself, but somebody definitely is dealing with somebody that is very dark here. So are they, are, are they did for some of you, maybe a child, a teenage child that's going through a dark night of the soul, but for others of you, it could be an older child. Okay. Of yours or theirs that does work. Okay. Yeah. So we got the emperor here. All right. So this is somebody that's releasing all that negative energy. Okay. They're waiting because they know they have to be upstanding when they come to you because you know, you read energy. Whether if you're a tarot reader or what, you you know people's energy here. You're very observant. You actually somebody is somebody that um you may see people's aura, auras. Okay. So this person is being guided by their ancestors, okay? So they're paying attention to that. And that's a good thing, right? So this person was definitely going through a dark night of the soul. Okay, they didn't know who, who to trust. They felt like they were being watched. Look at this. Move your ass or you'll get past, all right? I feel like they know you don't trust them. So they know they have to put in some sort of work here, okay? Yeah, I am enough, okay? So somebody's watching you, okay? Or they having some sort of life review about the things that they did, and they know that they're not um, worthy of your trust. But for some of you, this person is willing to earn your trust, okay? Look at this, yang energy. One needs to go so you can move forward, halfway through a difficult time. So expect something in the next three months and make sure you protect your energy every day, possibly twice a day. Tell yourself good thoughts, listen to your meditations, okay? And expect good things. Deuces.